Hello my old school soul food family, Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Alright y'all, Pillsbury, y'all know I love me some Pillsbury products, especially Pillsbury pie dough. It's the best on the market. It's no, it's second to none Pillsbury uh, pie dough. And I went to the store the other day and look what they got. New mini Pillsbury pie crust. Makes 14 of them. Mini pies. So y'all, first thing I thought is mini buttermilk pies, y'all. You know, it's my favorite pie. I say, why not make some mini buttermilk pies? So that's what I'm gonna do. I got my little, and they say muffin tin. So this is the muffin tin I got. But it's weird, it say it makes 14 mini pies, but most muffin tins are 12. So I don't know, Pillsbury, what you doing there? Just like hot dog bun, hot dog. You get eight in a package and you what, 12 buns in the thing or how is it? It's never enough hot dogs to the hot dog bun. I don't know, man, that's the only thing I see wrong here. They got 14 of these and it's uh, uh, 12 pie tins. You in a, in a thing, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, first thing I'm gonna do here I'm going to get this uh, mix made up. And then we're going to put the dough in here and let it go. I like to let my mix kind of set up a little bit after I make it. Very simple, y'all. The mix has been following me along enough. The same uh, recipe. You don't even need a mixer for this, y'all. Don't even need a mixer. We're going to put our eggs in here. Mix it with the sugar a little. Get that all mixed up. Move this over here. I like trying to get that sugar mixed up with that egg. Get it gets incorporated in there. All right, then I add my vanilla to this. I say, man, mini buttermilk pies. That means you can eat as many as you want. It won't feel as bad, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to add whole buttermilk, y'all. Y'all know I'm very adamant about my buttermilk. It makes a big difference when you're cooking. Use whole buttermilk right here. See this? This is what I use. Whole buttermilk. I don't use a low fat. I don't use a... Because it makes a big difference in your biscuits and your pies. People always wonder, how your buttermilk biscuits taste so good? Because it's the buttermilk I use. Whole buttermilk makes a difference. What my mom always used. She was very adamant about that. Okay, melted butter. Throw that in there. There we go. Get that mixed up in there good. Last thing I'm going to add is my flour. Get that mixed up and we're going to be finished with this with this mix here, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on here. Got a little piece of paper in there for something. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I got it out of there. Okay. All right. That's it, y'all. All right. We're going to kind of let that hang out right over here to the side. And we're going to bring our other stuff over here. My muffin tins here. Put my sheet pan right there. Hold on, y'all. Let me get stuff situated. Here. Let me get situated here. Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to see this first time, but like I say, use the muffin tin and use this dough. So we're going to do all we're doing all this in just one time here, y'all. They said let it come in the room temperature, like I always do, about 15 minutes. Roll them out, move that to the side. Open this one up here. Ready? I'm excited here, y'all. I'm excited. Don't take much to get me excited, right? Okay, let's get these bad boys unrolled. They already, you can see, perforated, cut already. And she said you should be able to just tear them out right here, just like this. 
How easy is this, y'all? Yeah, how easy is this? And then I'm messing it up. I'm getting the chains over here. We're just gonna push them bad boys in here like this. I don't know if I should spray this or what. I like to spray mine. It say don't spray it, but I like to spray mine just a little. I don't know if you spray them, they'll kind of shrink, but I don't know. I'm going to put a little spray. It's not much. It's a little spray in mine. So they'll come out of here. Okay, I'm going to do a few more, and then I'm going to step off, y'all. And we're going to finish these bad boys up. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is you know, I'm going to... Ooh, I got a little extra dough left over, too. The little pieces left over. I'm on a uh, par bait mine. Y'all already know I like to par bait mine just a little. So it's not a doughy product. Let me do one more here, y'all. I'm going to step off and finish these bad boys up. And we're going to come back and fill them in. Y'all see that? So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And I got a little creative here, y'all. I got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 out of here. See that? Got my six there. And those three, and then I had leftover dough. And I made three more out of the leftover dough, y'all. So, yeah. So, we're going to see how much filling I'm going to get in there. If I got too much filling for dough. We're going to see if it's going to match up. But, anyway, I like to park cook it five to six minutes, y'all. Y'all already know that. And then I'll cooking the rest of the way off in the oven. So I'm gonna step back, put in the oven 350 degrees, about five to six minutes. And we'll come back when it's time to fill them. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, I'll pour bake these, like I say, about three or four minutes. I didn't even go five or seven, because I didn't want them to shrink down too much. And you can see, sometimes when you put it in a certain pan, it'll shrink down. Like I'll show you here in, in the next one over here next pan okay let me pull this in my little dish here where i can pour them better okay let's say it's first time i did them in here so we're gonna see what happens fill it up as as close to the top as i can y'all you know i'm gonna have some feeling left over Little by little here, y'all. I'm definitely gonna. I'm I already know I'm gonna have some filling left over, and that's fine with me. That's fine with me, y'all. These here filled up. All righty. Move these over to the side. And I'm wondering something, y'all. I'm, I'm going to do a little experiment here. Okay, y'all can see those shrink down a lot. So a little in the bottom of that. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna see something here. See how much filling I got left over. I'm gonna put a little in the other one without any dough in it. I'm gonna spray it really good, though. And we're gonna see if they come out of the pan. I'm gonna spray these really, really good. I'm gonna see if they'll come out without the dough. Little experimentation here. Crustless buttermilk pies. Hey, that's how you, this how stuff was invented, right? This is how stuff was invented. Got a little bit more in this one. Pour it right in here. Okay, we're gonna put it up in 350 degrees. You get take about 45 minutes to an hour. But I don't think this is going to take as long. But well, we'll see, y'all. We're experimenting with these new mini Pillsbury crust dough. So we'll be right back. 
All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna kinda let these cool. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these out of here. I see they got dark around the edges. The one I ain't put no dough in, so that might be a no-go. But these other ones here, once I let them cool, I'm gonna kinda flip them out, cause they definitely done. And they didn't take as long as the big ones, uh, big buttermilk pies in the big pie shells, but that's fine. As long as the pie dough is good and ready, that's all right with me. So I'm gonna let this set up. And like y'all already know, I like my buttermilk pie cold. So I'm gonna let them kind of cool off. I'm gonna take them out of the pan. I'll show you that. I'm gonna take them out of the pan. And then uh, I'm gonna let them cool and we're gonna try these out. Old school mini buttermilk pies, y'all. Made by my favorite pie dough, Pillsbury pie dough. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this, y'all. Now I'm gonna let them cool. I just took them out the pan. Look at that, y'all. And y'all know, if you've been following me long enough, you gotta eat buttermilk pie. Y'all know me, ice cold. That's the only way I can eat, only way I can mess with it. It's just totally different. Y'all overlook the Instant Pot, y'all. I got some free oxtails there from my neighbor that live down. Y'all not get the free oxtails, so I'm gonna cook them off before I go on my cruise, so. That's what that is. My, some people be nosy and curious, which is understandable. They be saying, Chef Deborah, what's in the pot? That's what's in the pot. I got about 10 pounds of oxtail there. I just gave me. So back to this. Like I say, y'all, I'm gonna let this cool off completely. Throw them in the fridge there, let them cool off. And when I come back, we're gonna sample these and see how they taste. I like how they set up. The, the crust sets up nicely. So it might be a game changer here. And I think I something else I can do with that crust. Later on, I'm already thinking what I could do with this Pillsbury pie dough crust and cut like that. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back later on when they cool off. We're going to do a taste test. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. My buttermilk pie is completely cooled here. Now, it's time for me to try one. I'm going to try a small one here. A small one, yeah, they all the same size here. Look at this. Got that nice golden brown undercarriage there. Let's break them in here and see what's going on in here. Oh my God. Hmm. What is that? Not bad, y'all. It's still the same crust. The same flaky crust. Hmm. 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 Pillsbury. Look at that. Y'all done messed me up now. Hmm. I'm going to be buying these. I'm going to make me some mini pecan pies with this. I'm going to make me some mini sweet potato pies with this. It's unlimited. And I can make fried pies. If you already cut in circles. Hmm. There's so much I can do with that new dough. Feels better and took it up in the next lot, y'all. Y'all know I love me some. Pillsbury pie dough. It's the free people on here. I can hear them say it. Come I mean, here. How is it old school cooking? You using refrigerated pie dough? Let me tell you. When you cook as much as I do, I tell people. The last thing I want to do is be putting this pie dough in the mixer, rolling it out, flour everywhere. That takes 15, 20, 30 sometimes an hour, or you gotta let the dough cool down and up. Mm -mm. You know how many dishes and things I could have done in that hour in the kitchen? I try to explain that to people. Those people just cook in one time a week. And it's hard to explain that to people. Oh, that ain't old school to you. I understand, I can make the best pie dough in the world. I've been, I grew up making pie dough. When I first started making pies, I made the pie dough, yeah. But that's a thing I will not do now. Pie dough right now, the, the Pester Pillsbury, the quality and the consistency of it is amazing. I tell people that. You cook maybe once a week or once a month, you can say that. If you cook like I do on a daily basis, you go to that extra step there. It's nothing, I tell people, it's nothing, it's nothing wrong taking a few extra uh, uh, 
getting extra help from the store sometimes. I have pet peeves about certain things, but yeah, Pondo is not one of them. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. Oh, let me show y'all here. Y'all wondering what was in the pot. I finished my oxtail that was in the pot. Look at that. Look at that video. Look at that. I got a video I did with it. Not a cooking video, but look. That's dinner tonight, y'all. Let me put that beside that. That's my dinner tonight, and that's my dessert. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Not a bad combination, is it? And I get my oxtail for free. And I ain't ashamed to brag about it. Because, yeah, I do a lot, and that's my people giving back. So let y'all kind of look at that. I ain't going to do no taste test on that. I know they're good. Falling apart, tender. Look at that shit. I'm going to kind of look at that. Just falling apart. Look at that. Off the bone. Yeah, that's my dinner tonight. Smothered oxtails and mashed potatoes. Don't hate. So, <coughs> anyway, let me close this video out. <coughs> See? <coughs> See God doing to me. I'm bragging over here. God punished me for bragging and being here and messing with y'all. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSocial.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.